Hey guys, it's Mr. Betty. We're going to work with suffixes today. So, what's a suffix? A suffix is just an ending to a word. So, we're talking about ing, which is ing, ed, which is id, s, and some other variations. But before we get into that, let's start with a little warm up. Got another fish with the letters FL at the beginning of words. The letters FL, if we blend them together, f, uh, f, f, So the the ending to this word is ag. So fl, ag, fl, ag. So what is the word? Exactly. Flag. Very good. All right. So here we've got the beginning. F oh, fl, fl. Then we got, remember the silent E at the end makes the A long. So this would be ache. Fl, ache. Fl, Ache. So what's the word? Flake. Very good. Like snowflake or frosted flakes. My favorite. All right, last one. All right, this is good. This works on the short, long A that we looked at yesterday. So this A doesn't have an E at the end and it doesn't have an I beside it. So it's short. So our beginning, fl, the a is short, so it says a, p, a, p, fl, a, p, fl, a, p. So what's the word? Flap. Very good. All right. So I've got some words written down on my whiteboard. So what's this first word? Smash. Smash. Tra a da. Trade. Smal. Smile. T earn. Turn. Stra. St. R. A. P. Stripe. All right, so what we're going to do to these words is we're going to add endings. And the first ending that we're going to add is S or ES. So the rule for adding S or ES is if the word ends in the sounds S, SH, CH, or X or Z, the word gets an ES. So, so what are the letters here? S is S. Sh is SH. And sh is CH. Then X is Z. Z, z ox. Ox. And Z is Z. Is, 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 is. So, so when we look at these words, now, if, if they end in an E, you automatically know that they get just an S because we don't want to add ES to a word that already ends in E. So, trade is going to get an S, smile is going to get an S, and stripe is going to get an S. So, the new word we have is trades, smiles, and stripes. So smash. Does it end in s? No. Does it end in sh? Yes. So it's going to get an es per our rule that we that we just talked about. Turn. Does it end in s? No. Does it end in sh? No. Does it end in sh? No. 
So it's going to get just an S. So now we got smash is trades smiles turns stripes. So as you could as you could hear when we said this first word smash is smash is when we added the es that as the is smash is good job guys i raised my e here on accent all right so now we're gonna go to our next suffix which is ed or is I saw in Lexia, one of the lessons said, ed can either sound ed, duh, or t. And we'll see that with a few of the words that we do. So, same rule of thumb. So, trade ends in a D, so, or E, so it's just going to get a D. Smile ends in an E, so it's just going to get a D. And stripe ends in an E, if you can tell my messed up E that I corrected. Stripe ends in an E, so it's going to get a D. All right. Now, we can't really just keep the D at the end of words. However, our, our rule still plays into effect with our first one. It ends in SH, so we're going to add an ED. But turn does end in a SH or a SH. Or ch but because it would look funny to just add a D, we're going to add an ED. So really the rule only applies with S and ES. When you're looking at ED and ING, there's different rules. Okay, so now let's look at what we have. Smashed up. So see, that makes the duh sound. Duh. We don't want to say smashed. Smashed. Actually, it makes a, it makes a tuh sound. Smashed. When we blend it, you really hear how the ED can make the t or duh sound. Traded. So see, it makes the id. Trade id. So it's ED. Smiled. Smiled. We don't say smiled. We blend it and say smiled. So it's just a D. Turned. Turned. Is it a D, a T, or an ED? Turned. Right, it's a D. We don't say turned it. We say turned, blended. Striped, 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 striped. So actually this, if we fully blend it, it's more of a T sound. Striped, striped. Good. So that's the suffix ed. And that makes a verb past tense. But we'll talk about that in another lesson. All right, so now we're going to add the suffix ing. And this has a separate rule. So with smash, since it ends in a vowel, since it ends in a consonant, rather, I'm sorry, it ends in a consonant, H, we're just going to add the ING. Smash-ing. Smash-ing. 
So we're currently smashing something. So if we're playing Super Smash Brothers and we're smashing whatever you smash, then we're smashing. All right. Now here's where the rule comes into play. Trade ends in E. An E is a vowel. So as we went over, the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. And sometimes Y. So trade ends in E. And an E is a vowel. So what we're going to do, the general rule is, we're going to take the E off, and then we're going to add I, N, G. Trading. Trading. So, this has been a topic that we've discussed in length because it's difficult to always know. How do you know that you don't need to double the D? So, we need to keep this A long. We need to keep it saying its name. tra a D. So if we double the D, the I is not going to be able to get to the A, and the A is going to be short. So what we're going to have is tra a ding, tra a ding, and that's not a word, and it's definitely not what we're trying to get. So trading. Now smile ends in E, which is a vowel. So what are we going to do, guys? Exactly. We're going to take the E off and we're going to put I and G. Now we're not going to double the L. We're just going to leave the L as one L. Smile in. Smile in. Good. So here we don't we don't end in a vowel. Turn does not end in a vowel. So we're just going to add I, N, G. And we don't need to worry about doubling anything because we already have two constants here, so the I can't get to the U. Now, our last word is striping. Stri stripe. Does it end in a vowel? Yes, it does. It ends in an E. So we're going to get rid of that E, and we're going to add an I, N, G. G. Stripe in. And that is the three basic suffixes that you're going to see in most words. Now, just to reiterate what we did and see if you got it, this is the suffix dice. And we haven't gone over all the suffixes on the dice, but if we get to one, then I'll explain it. So I'm going to roll the suffix dice. I'm going to I'm going to come up with a verb, and we're going to make it that suffix. So the first verb I'm going to do is jump, and jump is spelled. J U M P, as you can see. So we're going to make jump into jumping. So, guys, how are we going to make jump into jumping? Right. It doesn't end in a vowel, so we're just going to add an I N G. All right, so let's do another one. Let's do take. And let's give the suffix dice roll. We're going to make take. You guys are way better at the suffix dice than I am. We're going to make take into taked. <laughs> okay. 
So let's not make take into Tate. That, that's an entirely separate issue. We'll talk about that in another video. We're going to make take into takes. Good. So takes. We're going to add an S or an ES. So the way we spell take is T-A-K-E. And we want to make it into takes. So do we need to add an S or an ES? Right. Just an S because it already ends in a vowel. It already ends in an E. All right. Let's do one more. Come up with a word first. Um, call. Call. We spell call C A L L. Now, what are we going to make call into? We're going to make call into caller. Caller number seven. So to make call into caller, er, er, what do you think we're going to add? We're going to add an ER. And this has the same rules as ED, and is ED or ES for that, for that matter. So call, C-A-L-L, -L, becomes C-A-L-L-E-R, caller. Now I'm going to open the lines, and caller number nine gets to roll the suffix dice. I'm just kidding. But if you want to call me, then that's fine. So, thanks guys. We'll have more videos later. For now, keep practicing your suffixes.